Hey, it's Anthony at Innovative Race Cars. Today we're going to talk about part two of motion ratio, and I'll go into further detail explaining the mathematics and everything behind the motion ratio. I drew out a quick example for everybody. So your first number is going to be 16. That's going to be from your frame pivot to your shock, and then from your frame pivot to your ball joint. That's going to give you 19. That gives you that number. Then you go from the instant center to the ball joint. That gives you 30 inches. And then from the instant center to the tire center, that gives you 36 in this example. Then you divide those two numbers, that gives you that number. So then you come over here and you times those two numbers together, and that gives you your motion ratio. Then when you factor in the shock angle, you're going to take the shock angle. So 16 degrees is what we're going to go with. And you're going to hit cosine on your calculator after you type 16 in, and that gives you the cosine. Very simple. Then you times that number by your motion ratio and that gives you your true motion ratio so what that means is for every inch that your wheel travels your shock only travels 0.67 stay tuned because there's another video coming out the easy way to do motion ratio